Today is a very special day because tell them we're watching two movies two. And in between the movies we're gonna have lunch and also go to curries to look at appliances now when has it ever been the case never never usually when we go it's just one movie and also we've never left our peen for a mm, whole it won't be we definitely have to longer than this this is the longest i think why are we watching two movies you may be wondering well, it's free what it's free it's two it's free they're free it's free no we're not watching the movies because they're free first one is the one that i'm on it was so important to him that we watch it this movie is so highly rated you don't even know he also made me watch the first one the prequel to a movie with, with cute cats puss in boots and now we're going to the cinema to watch a sequence that Sequ oh, sequel sequel that was been so excited about puss in boots the last wish it's apparently a very 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 good movie on that note I wanted to say that afterwards we're going to watch a real good highly rated movie that I want to watch uh, I want to watch well, it as well I, I want to watch all movies it is about the writer which one is it Dick? it's basically an adaptation of Moby Dick but like it's not Moby actually Dick. Moby Dick story it's a very sentimental very dramatic interesting really well acted directed movie to this electronics shop excited to film another episode of trying to figure things out for the house turns out that shop had nothing that we expected it to have we are going to have some ramen to exercise my demons and to do some manual work that we were asked to do by our neighbors today i've decided to have some fun and cut the tree down i'm unwanted to get someone to do it and i just want to do it for fun i feel like it's gonna look at this guys <laughs> hold for your back i feel like it's gonna be fun i feel like i'm gonna have fun with this i look if i fail we'll just get a guy to do it but the tree's all over there and i am over here i think i can do it oh yeah i'm now on the other side of the tree i mean i'm next to the tree itself and i think it's gonna be fun i think i'm gonna have a good time This is fun. I don't know what like. What the hell? He doesn't even know I'm not. So. But look at the clean cut. So I involved Alman into the whole thing, and we just to film you, right? Just you want to take the glory for yourself. We, we need to get rid of this trunk, this one, and that one. And I'm happy. Oh, which one? Which this one? one? This one and this one. And that one as well. Oh, okay. We're happy for this one. So, but halfway. Yes, yeah, really. Yours is that halfway? Look. Halfway through, so I'm just gonna do it from the other side because now it's hard. So we just had a call with my colleague whose department I was planning to join for the last seven months, and it was just such a sad call because you know it's almost like letting go of this dream that I held on to for so long. The only reason why I stayed in this company until this day, it was a really strong career prospect for me, and I can blame myself for it but I, I i know it's it's not just been me the problems have been exaggerated my management has acted out of proportion on multiple occasions they've been flexible it's been awful and um yeah there's a lot of mutual responsibility in what's been happening and i don't think i should be blaming myself so much for it i feel like i'm forcing myself to look at it as a very strong learning experience and this is precisely what it's been for me and i went from all the way from feeling really frustrated scared emotional about it to just being extremely anxious and scared to being okay to being happy that i had have had the opportunity to talk about it with an independent um, person who is still considering what the next step should be. I feel good that I've also managed to speak to my colleague now so that he can uh, adjust the plans from their end. And now I just feel sad. It feels very sad. It feels like such a loss for me. 
letting this job work opportunity to go because I know how strong and intelligent team and supportive that team would have been. And when it comes down to work, you only just really need one person on your team to make it all but call the difference. Unfortunately for me with this company, it hasn't been the case for me and I, I never really felt supported. For a person like myself, it's a difficult place to be in because I want to progress, I want to achieve things and I just need to move past it. I know it will take some time. I know it's okay. I had an interview today, it went really well. That was for the same position that I'm doing right now, but by a much better salary. So, and it's fully remote if I wanted to be tissue um, within the same vertical, which is a good opportunity. But at the same time, <laughs> like I've been saying for so long, I I really am tired of doing what I'm doing. I, I got excited about this other side of things and I really want to go in that direction. And right now, I don't, I don't think I have a choice really. Um, but nonetheless, I did apply for multiple roles, and I'm having another interview tomorrow. Need to prepare for that. There's been no updates on my situation, the current workplace. They're trying to figure it out. Updates were coming either last night or today in the morning, and they didn't come through, which implies to me that they're really trying to consider all of the points that were brought up and if it was an easy thing for them to just they would have done it ages ago and now they're really looking into it i love it i love it uh, that gives me time to find a new job i do have an interview with a really strong prospect that i'm very nervous about in two hours. Try to do my best to prepare yesterday, did my best to prepare today. Today is just a screening thing, so not skills based. Nonetheless, very nervous. But all in all, just like what I was saying yesterday, I feel really calm and overall about the situation. I don't feel that fear anymore. I'm so glad it's, it's gone. I feel good about everything I've done so far. I'm, I feel very proud as well. We are going to a park, the name of which, even though Alan just reminded me, I can't pronounce or remember. It sounds something along the lines of Pinchwell Park, but it doesn't really matter. We're going to celebrate our Pin's birthday. He was one year old a few days back. We got him a toy, we got him a cake. He didn't realize that it was his birthday, of course, because how could he? But we made sure that it was special. And today is just a continuation of that day. We're going to this forest-like park where have a picnic and walk around and just have a good time. He is very excited. He was a little nervous in the morning because he thought we were going away because when we both of us are getting ready, it always means that we're going to leave him at home alone. Well, not really alone, but with the cats. Not today. Today, he's coming with us. He's so excited. Very excited. He pooped twice already. Very excited. is he finally started eating dry food again it's been about two months of him protesting he couldn't eat dry food at all we had to mix in wet food he was smart enough he knew that we would do that so that he could eat but you know, know. if he does it at home because he's hungry today we've been walking a lot I kept buying him salmon based food because he's still growing that's what they're supposed to be eating and I feel like one of the batches from the local guy was a little off because at some point he just stopped eating it out of nowhere and he would just he, spit he it sick out one time you know not really bad and sick. yeah he got sick as well so i have a feeling something he just got aversion to salmon and i found a different brand still salmon based he wouldn't eat it either today got the same brand but chicken based loved it <laughs> loved it ah oh, look he broke it in half now yes. Look at it. Oh, wow. oh, the view though. No wonder oh, he wanted. View. But was it really here? That... No, no, 
They're making a story up. Oh, Arfina's making right. himself comfortable already on the bed. Good job, Arfina. <laughs>